Hello and welcome everybody to a brand new 2022 Toyota Aigo X. Now before we go any further with the full review of this uh, 2022 Toyota Aigo X, special thanks to Toyota Center uh, here in Zagreb for making this video possible. I will put all their info in the description below so you can check them out. So let's start this review with some basic uh, trim level. Now this is a uh, trend uh, uh, trim level uh, you also have some higher spec exclusive when you get the full uh, led headlights also you get led daytime running lights and uh, turn signal which looks very very nice also you'll see later there are some differences in uh, interior but also some differences in wheel sizes now starting this christmas review of a igo x you see on the uh, exterior front that we have this uh, a radar over here in the center front. Uh, the good thing about this Toyota is that even on this basic uh, model it comes fully equipped with all safety features which is very very nice. A cool feature on this particular model is this paint actually. On first you would think that it's some kind of a regular dark dark blue but uh, on the other hand it, ha it has some purple effect on it. I don't know but it looks uh, very very nice. Uh, as you move a little bit lower in the portion you see this gloss black plastic over here but the lower portion of it of this bumper it's actually this regular plastic you will see this later on the side profile also it indicates its uh, crossover SUVs uh, capabilities of this very very small urban uh, crossover as Toyota calls it now moving here a little bit higher we have big Toyota logo over here as we all know when we have uh, a blue stripe on Toyota logo it's hybrid this one is not a hybrid is it is a one liter three cylinder 72 horsepower uh, petrol engine you will see later it is mated with a manual gearbox and as you can see this uh, C type of uh, headlights now let's go and check the passenger uh, side profile so this is a passenger side profile of uh, Toyota Aigo X and now this is the first cool thing on this vehicle for me at least these 17 inch alloy wheels now if you go for higher spec models like exclusive or limited you will get even 18 inch alloy wheels which is just crazy for this small uh, car also but of course they look very very nice and cool also you you will see this uh, plastic cover over here which again indicates this is some type of crossover suv uh, vehicle urban crossover actually and this plastic goes all the way to the back here on the side profile we see black door mirrors also we see this uh, turn signal and on this model we have contrasting roof which is uh, black sneak peek of a interior this Igo X and also uh, cool uh, cool stuff over here we see butterfly rear window on this small car uh, it's more than enough but yeah it's a little bit old school solution but in this very very small vehicle it's more than enough let's go and check the so rear end this is the rear end of a Igo X it's actually very similar or I would say most exactly the same as the old Igo X but uh, you'll see also cool feature over here we see this uh, blue paint on the lower portion and this all upper portion is in black also in the lower portion we still have some that uh, protective plastic over here uh, all this bootlet is actually covered in glass more of that a little bit later when we will review uh, the boot space in the back in the center we have huge toyota logo also here on the left igo x and 10 year warranty badge over here and also in the lower portion we have this chrome effect uh, metal strip so driver side profile everything is absolutely the same as passenger side so i won't get any more detail about that only difference is of course is fuel filler cap here on this uh, driver side so this is the end of a exterior review of this uh, toyota igo x but before we go in the interior i will show you the uh, daytime running lights and also the headlights on this igo so x these are as you can see halogen daytime running lights also if you go on a higher spec models like i said exclusive or limited you will get uh, daytime running lights in led technology and also led headlights let's go and check on in the rear and in the rear we have this cool looking 
some kind of C-shape daytime running lights. So these are the main headlights, are also in halogen technology. Now let's go ahead and check the boot space of this IO X. So this is the boot space. Official figures say 231 liters. Uh, unofficially, it's more than enough for one person or uh, two persons uh, or a couple. Uh, we have this pretty high load lip, but it's perfectly normal for this type of vehicles. Also, the good thing here, we have this rubber type of uh, material over here. We also uh, have some, some hooks over here and this cover over here. Uh, overall, very simple, very minimalist design. We also have some hooks uh, here. This is very, very nice. Actually, if you have some uh, shopping, uh, shopping bags, you can easily put it in here. So thumbs up for that. So yeah, overall, uh, it's a very nice design, a very square shape, and it's uh, easy to put your to put your stuff. Quick look of a rear seat interior. Uh, this model. Uh, first, let's examine the door design. As you can see now, this butterfly type of uh, uh, windows. Also, uh, here in the rear, you have practically uh, zero stuff. You only have some little bit of storage over here. This area, as you can see, is uh, finished in that very nice dark blue color. And also, uh, it, uh, this center part is actually fully covered in uh, plastic. Now, this is just a quick look of the interior. A very nice and very cool feature in the interior for me personally is this black roof. I'm a huge fan of black roof. I don't know why, but it looks always uh, sporty and premium and this uh, very small urban crossover has it. So thumbs up for that Toyota. And also a very cool looking design of these seats. It reminds me something on uh, much, much uh, premium and uh, and more expensive vehicles. Now let's go ahead and check this uh, driver side rear seats. So this is the driver uh, side rear seats of a uh, this Toyota. And now let's go ahead and check inside. Uh, can I fit on this uh, rear so seat? So welcome to a rear seat of a Igo X. Now uh, this front seat is for my uh, driving position. I am 184 centimeters tall, which is about six feet. And this is my, I would say, ideal uh, driving position for town driving. Uh, to be honest, I don't have a lot of uh, knee room. I do have some foot space and also uh, for my head is maybe two centimeters spare. But to be, to be honest, uh, I would be perfectly fine to drive in this position around the town or around the city. Of course, not on a longer journey, but this is, this is not supposed to do that so if you are going to plan to buy this car to let's say drive it yourself or with your girlfriend or boyfriend it doesn't matter uh, you'll be more than fine also if you need eventually carry some uh, some people in the back you can for kids would be I would say okay but uh, for most of the city driving this is more than adequate but now let's go ahead and check this uh, passenger front seat so this is a passenger front seat but before we go on that section let's uh, quickly examine uh, front doors similar like in the back we have in this upper and lower portion this uh, blue blue metal uh, design or color and in this center area we have some storage over here covered fully in uh, black plastic we have also electrically operated uh, front windows and also some storage in the lower section which is very very nice so moving inside we have this cool igo x sticker over here we have also a black interior fully black interior uh, black plastic uh, black seats and also black roof which looks for my personal opinion very very cool but uh, also cool feature are these uh, bluish element similar or exactly the same as exterior color we have it over here on the door vents we also have sorry air vents we also have it on the seats and we also on this center console a very very cool design and these are the front seats like i said very very cool uh, design i will check in a minute uh, or so how uh, comfortable uh, they are also we have some storage over here which is actually very nice and reasonably sized 
And now let's go ahead and sit on this passenger front so, seat. First thing first, getting in and out. Very easy, very, very nice. Why? This is like Toyota calls it urban crossover and they're absolutely right. So it's a little bit higher from the ground up. So it's very easy to get in and out. Also the view, it's very nice. You sit a little bit higher than in the normal, let's say Yaris. It's similar like in the Yaris Cross actually. Uh, view from this uh, passenger front is also very nice. You have this, like I said again, uh, cool looking blue effect on the air vents. So let's say if you have a red exterior color, you have this in red so it's very very nice also very nice you have some bluish ambient lighting over here so thumbs up for that also like i said uh, uh, you have some storage over here also two cup holders in this uh, center area over here we have all the climate controls are separated for, from the infotainment screen which is always handy and toyota's uh, infotainment a screen which is okay to use absolutely fine and you have these buttons for the shortcuts which is always a handy and nice feature moving here on the center console you also have another uh, cup holder which is uh, very very good we have manual handbrake for this type of uh, vehicles it's perfectly suitable also we have a manual five-speed gearbox uh, you can upgrade to a uh, CVT gearbox it's the same engine, same power, but uh, automatic CVT gearbox. Also, one thing worth mentioning here on the center console, you have these hazard lights, and also this uh, is all covered in piano black plastic. Uh, one uh, funny uh, thing about this uh, car, you can actually upgrade it, the speakers to a JBL premium uh, system, which is actually uh, really crazy for such a, a small vehicle. This is the end of a passenger seat uh, review, I would say. Now let's go ahead and check the driver's seat of a Toyota Aigo X. Welcome to a driver seat of a Aigo X. First thing first, we have also here on the left all uh, safety uh, stuff, uh, very easy to operate. In front of us, we have partly digital dials. We have this, some type of a small smartphone looking in the center and uh, it's it's actually very cool in this way i have to say sitting position very nice a little bit higher up than in the normal yaris which is actually ideal for city uh, driving very nice uh, three spoke toyota uh, steering wheel also very easy to operate with uh, all controls here we have some media also for your cruise control and also some for your uh, radio uh, and uh, phone stuff so overall I would say very very nice design and very nice feeling like I said um, I'm a huge fan of a, a black uh, interior and black roofs I don't know why but it always it always feel uh, very premium to me so thumbs up for that and uh, if you're looking for a very small city car or let's say second car in a family I think this Toyota should be definitely in your shortlist. Once more, just a quick look of the interior of this Toyota. And now let's go ahead and sum it up. So like I said in the very beginning, uh, this is a Toyota Aigo X, one liter three cylinder petrol engine, naturally aspirated with uh, 72 horsepower. This particular model is in trend pack. Also, it is a five speed manual. You can upgrade it to a uh, CVT automatic gearbox. Also, there are two even luxurious uh, trim packs limited and also uh, exclusive so if you are looking for some competitors of this vehicle this vehicle actually hasn't got any because if you are going to look by its size maybe something like Renault Twingo or maybe Smart but these vehicles are not so uh, ground up from, uh, from, uh, from the ground actually so yeah this is a very small urban crossover and when you go with the higher spec models it's actually a very small uh, premium model i would say so yeah that sums it up thank you so much for watching this video special thanks again to toyota center here in zagreb for making this video possible and wish you all a merry christmas